Hello, welcome to ToddFun.com, where I do what's fun. And this week, I have some guests. Hey guys. Hello. <laughs> so we're the Toy Makers from TYMPRS.com, and uh, we're here at John Shook's house, hanging out with Todd and Alex and Alex. I'm the camera bear. <laughs> <laughs> Pico. And what do you have in the box? This is something I've wanted for about 30 years now. And I know you can help me with it because you guys done this type of work with this type of stuff before. I've been anxiously waiting to unbox it for a year and a half now. I got it off of eBay in an auction that I wanted for a reasonable price. Usually these things go for about 500 bucks to 1000 and I got it for 250 on auction. Nice. I did the last two second bid. I put a huge bid in and no one else could outbid me in the last two seconds. And so I got it. Ninja. A ninja, <laughs> ninja purchase. Yeah. Sniped it. And it, it, I first saw one of these when I was in college in the early 80s, though it's about a decade older than that. And I've always wanted to have one, and, and I, I know you guys know a lot about what this is. So I want to do the unboxing, and I want you guys to tell me what I can do with it and make it work for me in my house, too. Okay. Are you ready? You've piqued my interest. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> So a year and a half has been sitting and my wife's been bugging me to get it out of the house. But I'm like, no, I gotta do an unboxing. I gotta well, I gotta yeah. have time to be good and show it to the audience and then and then I gotta have someone who can tell me what I can do with it. I'm his son, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's getting kind of crusty. So this is the grand unveiling. Yeah. Well, you better hope they sent you the right damn thing. Well, it's from Wisconsin, so maybe it's just a box of cheese. I, I don't know. I, I gave them a good review because they shipped it almost. They always charged me fifty bucks for the shipping, and uh, and they did it real quick. So. so if they add cheese. So if it's just cheese, I'm, I'm in trouble. Yeah. Well, we have plenty of ideas for what you could do with cheese, though. So. Yeah, I guess a box of cheese this big would be worth a couple hundred bucks, wouldn't it? <laughs> There's like four different kinds of bubbles right here. That's awesome. I don't think there'll be anything else in it. Ooh. Oh, what? Uh, you got Whiskers. Whiskers has got a smile on his face. I'm like, oh, I know it's going to be a long time. That's. Put the camera. What? Put the camera. It's coming out. Uh, oh. Can you say what it is, Whisker? Oh yeah, that's a uh, video terminal. Is the 1976 ADM3A, and it is a. Uh, wow. It's a little dirty, <laughs> but. That'll clean. That'll clean up. Now you guys have these, and you've done a little network with these. Yes. And that's what I wanted help with is making this fire up. I used one when I was first in college in the early 80s, and uh, I wanted to just either it'll be a, a sort of like a home network thing, but it'll still come up and it should still work if, if you guys can help me with that. That's what I want to do. But this is the unboxing just to see it. You know what ADM stands for, supposedly? Uh, it's supposed to be an American Dream Machine. Ah! But who knows? Awesome. I mean, that's just kind of a semi rumor. <laughs> All right, can we see the back of it? Is the the coolest looking machine? So there's a modem slot and an extension slot. And then there's fuse down here, power switches over here. And the switch is off. So later when you can't figure out why it's working or not working, <laughs> try turning it on. <laughs> there's a socket. Right? So what do you think? That, is that the sexiest thing you've ever seen in a computer? Do you want to plug it in? You want to plug it in? Well, let's look inside first in case there's a mouse in there, right? Now, these are clamshells. They actually open up. So, I don't know. How do you guys live? I, I've never opened one. Is there like a lever in the front? Or? There are hinges back here. The first under. one. There's two screws there and there. I see a speaker there. So, that's definitely not going to be. I'm guessing these. Is this it Phillips in there? There's no, there's no screw in this one. Is there a screw in that one? It doesn't sort of look like it, actually. Maybe so, maybe just, just the top screw. Where'd you go with my flashlight? <laughs> Or what is it? So maybe just to hold the badge on. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. Just there, you go. there we go. Okay. So now on these units, this is before the time period where you had like uh <laughs> Is that sexy or what? It should go all the way. Wow, is that the way to open a computer or what? <laughs> this is back when you could actually fix things. So these would all be like RAN chips that they're loading the characters into. 
as bytes, and then the scanner is reading, you know, just across the RAM and displaying it. So it's that is awesome. No microprocessor, just TTL logic, right. and, and in it goes and out the <laughs> back and in the button, out the button, right? And then off to the. And I wonder what kind of switches are in this. Read switches, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Read <laughs> switches? So this is probably your serial setup parameters here. I would guess. I can't really read from here, but yeah, yeah. Those are the print. There's, there's baud rate, stop bit, and all that. Clear to send. Yep, seven bit, eight bit, parity odd even. <laughs> yeah, you want to try? I'm not. I'm not against plus. One of those was wait. Is one of these local? Local echo. Is it a auto new line? This thing is without something plugged in the serial port, it may not display anything. I can get stuff to plug into the serial port. I brought over my Raspberry Pi, because I think that's kind of how you've rigged up your other ones, isn't it? Yeah, there's a few different ways to do it. If we wanted to be really fun, we could hook up John's uh, uh, Tandy little unit. It's got a serial port on it. Oh, the Model 100? Yeah. <laughs> that could be fun. Same levels, right? It's a DB25 in there. It is. Right. Well, you can plug it in. You Somebody ready? distracted. You got this on film, Alex. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. You can see the screen? You want to see the screen or the inside? <laughs> what part's going to be more smoke? Well, the smoke will come, out, smoke here. come out here. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay, I flipped the switch. Come on, green phosphor. You can do it. Kaboom. <laughs> it's like doctors listening to the heartbeat. See, that's the contrast or brightness. Yeah. Both. Smell anything getting warm? You brought your flute meter, right? <laughs> I did bring my flute meter. Of course I did. I wouldn't leave home without my flute meter. And do they say in the auction whether or not... They said they knew nothing about it. Is that switch uh, on? I hear no high voltage happening. Is the switch on? Yeah. You got power at that outlet? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So next thing would be the fuse. Things I've learned from watching Todd Fun. <laughs> <laughs> What you got back there? That, that looks odd. That looks odd, yeah. It doesn't look blown, but it looks odd. It looks it looks stressed at the very least. Yeah, that that's that's blown. It's a uh, one of those wire wound ones and it is blown. So we uh, found the fuse, the main fuse is blown, and uh, John A Z is out uh, in his uh, Workbench looking for a fuse, and we're all actually going through it, and we notice it's not screwed down at all. So we can lift it up, and we can see the transform in there. You see that in there, Alex? One second. Let's you zoom in. It's got a big honking transformer down there. I was going to check to see if there was any obvious shorts anywhere. The caps all look good. Nothing blown, as far as we can tell. No swollen caps for sure. Just remember the direction that those are going. Yeah, this is key. This is key. You're clever about that. We actually had one reversed. All are, fe all are female, but one male. Ah. And this one, they did the same thing. They got two. They got one male. I mean, one female, and then and that's how they're keying them. They're right. gender changing them. Cool. So a mini teardown just because, well, why not, right? Can you see it, Alex? Yep. Ooh, Ooh look at all, look how straight those lines are. Imagine yes. how much that board would cost at OSH part. <laughs> <laughs> now you, uh, Whisker, were saying uh, how we might be able to uh, implement this. And what is, how is that? Um, how we can feed it with yeah. some stuff? Yeah. Well, you brought a Raspberry Pi, you said? Yep. On that, it has a, uh, uh, RX and TX pins, they're TTL serial, and when the Pi boots up, that's basically a TTY uh, for the system. And uh, with a single uh, serial translator level chip that has a charge pump on it, so four caps, a resistor or two, stealing power from the Pi, and one IC chip, you can basically connect this terminal uh, directly to those pins and see the characters that the Pi spits out when it boots up. 
and uh, you were interested in emulating a machine that you used in college. Yeah, just a... Uh, Do you remember which operating system? Tops 10, Tops 20, something like that? How old are you? <laughs> were there punch cards involved? Yes, there was punch cards involved. There was sorting of punch cards involved, actually. <laughs> um, no, we just did our programming on it. We, we, we'd connect to it and we'd send our, our jobs to it. Oh, still Switch plugged in. Off. Yeah, I, is it plugged in? It's plugged in. Is it plugged in? It's plugged in. It's plugged in. Well, let's plug that. Unplug that. Tongue on there, John. Well, don't plug it in. Oh, I'll okay. leave it It's off. plugged out. It's plugged it's plugged out. Yeah. <laughs> it's plugged out. It's plugged out. Okay. <laughs> Got a few. See the assembly date code? 82. July 21, mm -hmm. 1982. Oh, so this is definitely not a mid-70s. This one's 82. See, this when I was in college. It might have been the machine I used. <laughs> it's from Wisconsin, though. I'm from North Dakota, so I'm not sure they would have shipped it over there. All of this, the circuit board hung on that pin. Well, I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't see anything's going to the going where it shouldn't go. You got plugged in, right? Okay, now I'm gonna plug it in. Okay, plug it in. Ready? And this is just testing the transformer, anyway. Plugged in. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a clock. <laughs> That's a powerful transformer. <laughs> Well, quick, turn around. Now you can see the clock go. <laughs> oh, that's what's free. See, I thought it was just a pretty sounding machine. That is clever. It's a little annoying when you've heard that song for the 3,000th time. <laughs> well, I don't hear anything, but let's test the voltages, I guess, right? <laughs> And as far as outputs, a lot of it's guesswork. Oh. But what you got to remember is the output of a transformer is always AC. Yes. So there's no plus or minus. So usually when you see two of the same color, okay. that's one winding. That's one voltage output. Okay. Sometimes, now, usually green is ground, but on that plug, that green may be a center tap for that oh. winding. So, so you're getting 22 volts off of that. Orange to orange. The orange to orange. And we're getting half that for the center tap. So the green is going to be a center tap right. for that winding. Hmm. The same there. There's two yellows, so that's going to be a winding, and three reds, so one of those is probably a center tap. So you get 10 volts AC on those. We also know that the fuse did not repop because if it had, he wouldn't be getting that. Sure. 16 volts on that one. This was about 30, I suppose. Yeah, 33. Yeah. Nice. So the transformer's up and going, so. I guess we uh, turn off look up the board and see if it pops. See if it pops. Well, I would plug in the CRT next. Just the CRT. Just the CRT. But you got to because suspect down here is that big bridge rectifier and that big ass capacitor. Yeah. Leaky and shorted. That's going to be a mains filtering capacitor. So if, if that's mm -hmm. any scorches around that thing. No? What would you call that? Phenolic board or something like that? You know, they used to call it fish paper. Fish paper. I don't know why. They probably uh, wrapped the fish But in as it. far as back as I go, it, it, it's it's an impregnated cardboard, but they've always called it, I've always heard it called fish paper for some. At any rate, it's a little bit fragile. Looks like it's decided to take a little bit of a hump there. And there's the connectors on the back. You see that? All right. Just try one at a time. And then just try this side, you think? Yeah. Because that's the monitor, right? Or actually, you could leave that out and just drive the bridge rectifier and capacitors oh. first to see if that pops in. Okay. And those are probably two voltage regulators right next to that plug. And just do this one, you think, right? Sure. Okay. You ready? We'll leave it open, right? Plug it in. Well, oh, heck yeah. You can't right. see the sparks if you close it. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Is he recording, Alex? Yes. It's plugged in. Ready? Well, nothing went bye bye on us. Let's see if we still got you liking. Yeah, it's just millivolts. I think the fuse is going again. Well, let me unplug this. Yeah, we cooked it. We cooked it. 
Huh. So it's probably got to be right in these this guys. This rectifier. Is Fortunately, the that's easy to fix. Yeah. I probably have one up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Grab a soldering iron and a big beefy regulator. Cool. The thing is, I don't have a bunch of fuses. Uh, regulator. Um, yeah. So I brought two that I found that were good. So we still have one try? We got one, and I don't know. I don't know. This, this this seems pretty decent. Diode tester. Yeah. It definitely it does it has a forward here and here and it has a forward here and here. Check that filter cap right there. See if it's uh. Yeah, two. Uh, it's it's, it's uh, three thousand microfarad. Three thousand three hundred dead on. What about the high frequency ones? Twenty one cap <laughs> shorts. Mm -hmm. mm. This one is a little for for value. It's supposed to be a two point two microfarad, but continuity between the rails. Let's see if there's a short somewhere. But this is the regulator. It's fifteen volts, and this monitor is fifteen volts. So yeah, and so that's what it would have to. It looks like Alex over there is on it already. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute. Well, it's not a hundred percent true test, but that dial is. Uh, mm, I don't like that. Both directions. Both directions, yeah. Mm. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the voltage cool. regulator. Was it the regulator, or you probing the diode down? I was probing the diode, but you know if. And you're on continuity. I'm on, con moment? I'm on diode test. Okay. So it shouldn't go in both directions. Yeah. <laughs> this is the longest damn video you've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> Edited it down some. Um, because it's a single layer, it's a, a two layer board, we can see the traces, right? Yeah. And so I, if I could hold up the light, we have the, the diode goes to the output and then it goes. In. So what we're doing is, is we know we got a, a short right by the regulator, the 15 volt regulator, uh, but there's like a little crowbar circuit there and we think maybe the the diode in there is bad. Um, I, I'm wondering about that, but anyway, we'll clip it out. We're not getting anything past that anyway, so we'll clip it out and then test for a short again. So now you clip the lead off the diode, so we gotta get another one of them anyway. I can solder that down. What are you talking about? I'm not a perfectionist here. I've done that. Soldered them back together. Sure. Soldered the wires yeah. back together, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so it's not the greatest thing in the world, right? <coughs> From the on the regulator, I'm getting a I'm getting a short on that still, so that can't be right. You can't have. Let me grab one and <laughs> we'll see how it meters up. Well, that waves out of circuit. Yeah, that's true. Because all the other yeah. crap in the circuit. Because I'm measuring. Screen. I can measure the I can measure the capacitor real easy. Can the pause on the screen? But it's anticipation, no. and when you finally <laughs> get the whole page. Then you feel successful. Yay, I lowered Zork. <laughs> hey, he knows so what Zork that's is. Right. That's a victory in itself. I haven't played Zork. I've got a Commodore, you know. I played we it. We had like Commodore like parties minutes. once in a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How far did you get? Back together before you. I guess I could do that right away, huh? Mm-hmm. Probably be easier to. Well that heat sinks out of the way. Mm -hmm. Oh you it actually has another Why don't we, we test why the thing's out of there if we still have a short gun on? No, that's a thinker, right? I'm thinking now, right? Mm -hmm. If we still have a short here without that one in there, right? We still have a short. Just a regular. This is a regular. Right. And and this I poked myself. <laughs> that's why I hate those needle probes. But they're great until you poke yourself. This middle one goes to the ground plane. Yes. And this is the one it's shorted to. This one it comes over to here. It goes through this large ohm resistor. And then goes to this right here. Well, goes to this guy. Oops. That's good. It goes through a capacitor. It's that way. So it's input, ground, output. So it's input on this side, ground, output. This big thing is the output, which makes sense because it's coming over here, and this is the connector for the CRT, where the output. Okay, so then we got a short on the uh, short from ground to the output then. Which could be any filter capacitor <laughs> anywhere. 
input, ground, output. So that's the output. This is going to be like a rabbit hole video. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what's wrong okay, we're, this has officially videos. become the rabbit hole format, okay? I'm not editing this, <laughs> never. <laughs> if this transistor over here is shorted, it's going to show mm -hmm. up as a short on that voltage regulator. Yeah. So that transistor could be bad. Yeah. So inside of that one. Okay. <laughs> I'll use a little flux this time, thank you, sir. <laughs> May I have another on the flux? Okay. Beggars, choosers, beggars, choosers. How does that go? <laughs> Who invited you, anyway? <laughs> I kind of invited myself. I said, like, well, you're having company? Let me come over. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Yeah, but how could he get past this circuit? Right? I mean, it's still. For mine, I would actually sit down and draw that circuit and figure out what the heck. Yeah. <laughs> cabinets out there. Well, with this gear, I don't know if I can get any such thing out. Where's your helo stance in? It's like impossible. This That's what, well, let's test it. What have we got? Want to hold it for me? Oh, no, that part would be good. I get a dial this way. And not that way. Yeah. And then I get a dial that way. Yeah, that'll be the gate. So it looks like the transistor's good. So this is still shorted here then. The, what I consider the input and ground. I still get an input ground short. Hmm. No, but it doesn't look like it on the circuit. <laughs> Big difference. Incorrect. So, okay, so what's over here that's got it set to ground then? Well, that's the thing. I can't imagine that 15 volts is running anything else on that board. Than this. Because you've got all this power over here for uh -huh. the logic. That's just got to be the supply for the CRT, which is unplugged. Right, but it's, it's a, that's a serious short. Where does it go when it leaves here? Here's the question. Well, it's a two layer board, so it should be able to. Comes out of here. Right. Goes to two different this things. It goes to, goes to one of these tantalums, which goes over to here. Which goes to that big transistor. He's trying to figure out all that stuff. <laughs> With no schematics, but. <laughs> it goes. Doesn't it go to ground? It goes to ground. Yeah. Well, the tantalum will be from the. The 15 output. volts to ground. Right, so that's what it's well, um, about. The, the normal failure mode for a tantalum capacitor is boom. Yeah. <laughs> well, they didn't boom. Some open, some short tantalums, boom. So this tantalum over here is is not good. Oh, whoa, way, 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 whoa, whoa. Okay. That tantalum. A shorted tantalum is going to be a power to ground short. That is a shorter tantalum, I think. Hmm. Sure. Can't do that, can it? No. I think that's an it. That's got to be it. I don't have tandem caps. You don't have tandem caps. No, but you could just... just yeah. <laughs> run without it just as a test. <laughs> that door, right? I didn't know we were going to do an autopsy um, right here on the yeah. table. I was kind of hoping for... <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. Actually, I think, I think uh, that's a cool video to have any... So what we did is we we took out the uh, transistor that was next after the regulator. It, it also tested good out of the circuit. We continued following the trace, and we found what looked like a ta ta tantalum that was uh, basically just a dead short. And so it might be just letting that whole power rail suck to ground. So we're going to take that out, but we're going to change some equipment because we got we need some better soldering equipment. Otherwise, it's taking too long. Yep. So it's just a high frequency filter. So. Going it's a stupid 15 volt power supply, so leaving that capacitor out, it should run just fine. That is the output. So now we're back to the input, ground, output. Which one's the output? Give me a pen, I'm going to write it out. No, wait, wait, wait. Looking at it from the front, the output is on this side. To the, the output is closest to the corner. Note the two this engineers one, this is in the, the input, wild. Ground, output. So that's the this is how they communicate the with members and of the And probably the reason it's there is to keep artifacts from showing up on the CRT. Oh, I sold, me. See. I sold me on that one. See, I keep thinking it's the input. And I'm like, why is it on the input? Why is it on the input? Well, it's not. It's the output. And so it's just the high frequency drain to the up, back to ground. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Which no is, headache. How so. are you going to edit? Is what I was asking about. We're, we're going on two hours now. <laughs> <laughs> I said the format's changed to a rabbit hole. <laughs> if it is at high frequency cap, I would like 
for the record, to note that I asked about that very early on. <laughs> <laughs> you should have come over here and pointed at it and said, that one! <laughs> Everyone else was trying. You're just over there going, yeah, that's the thing I'm talking about, yeah. <laughs> that's what I want you to do. Those look really good. Oh, yeah. Of what? Um, the food, like, like, you you want a half enchilada? Yeah. Um, can make that happen. Thank you. You recording? I am. By the way, Whisker said, "Hey, look at the high frequency cap on the input out and output." Yeah, well, well. Okay, then we're getting to that. <laughs> Took a while. <laughs> I'll let you have it. I'll check to see if you're still shorting or not. I'm just gonna check the cap itself, right? Yeah. There's one dead town high frequency. And so we might have that, artifacts. So, so what you call that is uh, zero ohm fuse. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but, that, but that's weird. I'm, yeah, I'm not seeing your channel. Well, well, alternatively, you can call it a cannulum. Cannulum's element. fail shorted. Is, I'm not yeah, used that's, to that's, Yeah, they usually That's what I said earlier. Cannulum's fail boom. <laughs> not open or short. So now do we have any more shorts on that regulator job? Yeah, no more shorts. Just the, just the, uh, just, just the, uh, Yay! <coughs> okay, if we can put this guy's heart back in. Whiskers rushing we off. We only got shoulder. one fuse left. Fuse, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I would. What I would mean to put in here. <laughs> I'm sure Todd probably has one sitting in a drawer in his shop. I have a lot of those, yeah. Sure. I used to have lots of fuses, but I stopped running across things that. Have blowable fuses. They're all <laughs> auto resettable solid state fuses. Yeah. Now. Would it be cool makers? to go back to middle school for like and we just pay a few days? High fives and cookies. <laughs> There's some, teach some teachers I deal with a little differently. Don't you ever have that nightmare where you have to go back to high school and you're in there you're going down the hall? Yeah. yeah. You get that one? I usually more get university and that I forgot to do an assignment. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but it's always like because it's the it's the final, it's the last week of yes, school. Yes, usually got, something mine like is, that. Mine is, I've yeah. managed to not remember that I've had a course all semester. Exactly. Oh, right? Exactly. And you got like two course, weeks to one. figure out right. how to pass a class yeah. you never went to. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That, what that, is that? that, that I, everyone has that one. <laughs> it's just like insane. Oh, how would, how would that, it even happen? Why is it a nightmare? <laughs> The silence of amazing. No, I get nothing. All right. We should make hot pockets like this. <laughs> okay, so we're not plugging in the CRT. We're just going to plug in the regulation part. Right. Okay. Get the fuse. Isn't the last cool? good fuse. <laughs> wow. I can always stick a big piece of wire in there if that fails. Yeah, that's not true. Then it'll, it'll show the next bad part yeah, really exactly. well. <laughs> it'll let the, all the pretty magic smoke out. Is that on or off? That is on. It's not off. Plugged. Plugging in. Okay, plugging in. Ready? I'm you feel me? Alex, coming. you might want to cover your face. <laughs> For your food. For your food. Ready? My face is more important than my food. Oh, oh, that was that was that. Food. No, it was not. It was no, a it was. There's something on the top. Oh, something pop. Yeah, right there. It went putufi. Big oh, oh, nice big smart. <laughs> <laughs> Another tantalum went down, and that went down too. <laughs> so, oh, that's a nice dramatic one. Yay, there. smoke! Oh, is this still going? You unplugged it? No. Why would I unplug? Hey, we have a short across the tantalum now. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. think I'm gonna have to replace all the tantalums and then yeah, try. Yeah, tantalums again. age, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it good actually to know. bubbled. Mm. The tan tantalum actually bubbled like a piece of gum. <laughs> It, it, it did go boom. It had some nice sparks. Yeah. <laughs> I was right. Failure mode is boom. <laughs> but this is good because you see now, if you had to use the fast fuse, we would have saw that. We would have been going. That's true. We would have the taken problem. the fuse up before the tail. <laughs> so now we know the tail is no good. Okay, but we're probably getting somewhere. I mean, I mean, the tail are bad. Replace those, and then, I would, yeah, and try then that. next video will be what happens. Because you really do that. want to put them back. Yeah, I, I mean, for testing, you could run without it, but. You know, it's there to eliminate high frequency noise getting into that circuit board. That board may be sensitive to it. Yeah, it'll be yeah. squirrely without them. So, and, and it <laughs> could take that board out. So this is better. You, 
go just buy go to circuit specialist and get some new caps. And yeah. yeah. So While now you're at it, you yeah. could just swap out all the ceramics too. Yeah, all these guys. There aren't two dollars worth of capacitors on that whole mm -hmm. board. Yeah. There's so few of them that it would be easy. And that's to that big thing. Well, they're all like on the misery array. Could probably all... replace the one that's about a fifth the size. <laughs> this one, yeah, a modern one. Well, those are. It's not ballooned at the top at all. That's it's usually still, still, it's still what 30, it's 35 years 35 old. 35 years It'll old. That's true. Back. Okay, well, I guess that's it. I'll do more repairs later and have another video. So I guess goodbye for now. Say that's goodbye. True. Bye. 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 Thanks for letting us be part of it. <laughs>